Hey guys, welcome to SSU Tech Social this side and today we are going to see about the parameterized linkage services and we'll be going to also see about the parameters in the Azure Data Factory. So first try to understand about the parameter and then we'll be going to see in the linkage services how we can use the parameters. So this is very important while you are going to work in the real time environment. So go to the next slide and we'll try to understand. So what is the parameter? So the parameter you can use to pass external values into the pipelines, data sets, linkage services and data flows. For the data flows, we did not discuss as yet. So we'll be going to see in our upcoming videos. So here we can understand like on the pipeline level, we can create the parameter. In the data set level, we can use the parameters. And third, we can see the linkage services. So on these three levels, we can create the parameter and we can use those. Next, once the parameter has been passed into the resource, it cannot be changed. So while we are going to pass the parameters into the resources, we cannot change that. By parameterizing resources, you can reuse them with different values each time. So as you can understand, so if we want to load the data from any source, for example, our source is the blob storage. So we want to load the data from the blob storage to three different environment. So first environment is the dev environment. The same data will go to the UAT environment and the same data should go into the prod environment. So here, instead of creating these three linkage services, we can use and create a single link service and we'll be going to utilize that in different environments. Similarly, we can also create the single data set and that data set will be the dynamically handle these three environments. So our source is static and our destination is dynamic. So this is the actual requirement that we'll be going to achieve by next two to three videos. So in this video, we'll try to create the linkage service and how we can make that as dynamic. So first go inside the browser and we'll see about the source. So here, as we can see, this is the blob storage under the SSU testing. We are having SSU container and here we can see this table that is employee.txt table. So this table are having only two column ID and name and the values that we can see right here. So we want to load this into the SQL server. So inside the SQL server, as you can see, we are having these three environment like dev environment, prod environment and UAT environment. So we'll be going to load the data into these three environments. So here I have created these three databases only, but in the real time, you will be having these three SQL servers. So here we are having only SS unit server, but in the real time, you will be having these three different different servers by which we'll be having these tables as you can see here we have this employee table under the dev environment in the uat and prod we'll be having the same employee table so that you can see and verify so this is a requirement so first we'll try to create the link service and how we can make this as dynamic so go to the browser go to the azure data factory so here go to on the manage and under the manage the first option under the connections we can see the link service so if you haven't watched the link service video of this video series so i would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward so here i want to create a new link service so click on this new now here we have to search so our destination that is the azure sql so we can search for that and click on continue now let me call this as dynamic link service for Azure SQL and this is for the employee table. Now, let me scroll down. Here we are having the option to select the subscription server name and database name. So let me select the subscription first, then the server name and then the database name. So I am going to create this with the static connection with the dev environment because here we are not going to see any option by which we can make this as dynamic. So in the real time, you have to make the dynamic with the 
server name along with the database name as well. In our case, it will be only database name is dynamic. Now, we have to specify the user ID and password here. So let me provide the user ID and password. Test the connection here. Connection succeed. Click on create. So it will create a new link service and this is the dynamic link service Azure SQL underscore EMP. So it is created now. But this is the static. Now we want to make this as dynamic. So let me click on that again. And now here we can see the database server and authentication type. Everything we can make this dynamic from here. If you can click on this here we can see the option to add dynamic content let me click on that so here as we can see we don't have any parameter because we did not created any parameter so either we can create the new parameter from here by clicking on this plus symbol and this parameter scope will be limited under this linkage service so we can create the parameters as i told you on the linkage service level on the pipeline level and on the data set level so here we are going to create this as link service level so if you can scroll down side and here we could be having option for the parameter either we can create from there or we can create from here so let me click on new now we can call this as server name let me add another parameter and this will be the database name let me add one more so this will be the user id or the login id then the password so these three parameters we have passed so if you can go upside and here we can see the database so let me click on that and here we can see the add dynamic content let me click on that so instead of getting the static values we want to get these values from the parameter so this is for the database so we can click on the database so it is getting like here you can see the link service dot database name so it is referring like this database name parameter is coming from the linkage service only let me click on ok it is not selected let me go and select it again like the database name click on ok so here we can see the database name which we had specified ssu dev static value but this time it is coming from this parameter do the same thing for the server name as well so server name click on ok it is loaded now here we can see the username so here we have the user id so we can add that click on ok now we can see the password so let me add the password parameter as well click on ok everything we have selected and by default value we did not pass anything here now we want to test the connection so click on the test connection here it is required to pass all those values so first we have to pass the server name so this is the server name then with the database name so let me pass the database name as ssu dev then the user id and user id will be pvi and then the password so let me add the password here and click on ok so it is testing the connection so test connection succeed so it is able to make the connection with the dev environment let me try to test the another one so click on test connection again here instead of dev let me have the ssu uat and click on ok so it is testing the connection for the uat and connection succeed so that looks good click on test connection again and this time i want to test the connection for the fraud one now click on ok so it got succeed so it is working fine so let me click on apply so we have making the changes under this link service and we have make this as dynamic so if you can go here again so here we can see the first parameter that is dynamic 
the second that is again dynamic third and fourth so we have created these four parameters and we are using these parameters under this link service so i hope guys you have understand how we can make the link service as dynamic in the next video we will be going to see how we can make the data set as dynamic so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video